How to make liquid soap. Does your household tend to run through liquid soap quickly? Store-bought liquid soap can be expensive, especially if you go for soap made with natural ingredients. Why pay $4 to $7 a bottle when you can make your own at home? Read on for instructions on how to make liquid soap from a bar of soap or from scratch. Making liquid soap from a bar. Pick out a bar of soap to use. You can make liquid soap from any bar of soap you have around the house. Use whatever leftover or half-used bars you have, or put some extra thought into your choice to create a liquid soap you can use for a specific purpose. For example, use a bar of facial soap to make a liquid soap you can use on your face. Use a bar of antibacterial soap to make a good cleansing hand soap to use in your kitchen or bathroom. Use a bar of moisturizing soap to make a liquid soap you can use as body wash. Use unscented soap if you want to add your own scent to create customized liquid soap. Use a bar of facial soap to make a liquid soap you can use on your face. Use a bar of antibacterial soap to make a good cleansing hand soap to use in your kitchen or bathroom. Use a bar of moisturizing soap to make a liquid soap you can use as body wash. Use unscented soap if you want to add your own scent to create customized liquid soap. Grate the soap into a bowl. Use a fine cheese grater to grate the entire bar of soap into a bowl. Use the finest grater you have so that when it's time for the soap to melt, the process goes more quickly. You can cut the soap into chunks if that helps you grate it more easily. You should end up with about 1 cup 229 grams of soap flakes. If you have less, grate a second bar of soap. This recipe can easily be doubled or tripled if you want to make a lot of liquid soap. It makes a great gift, especially when it's stored in pretty jars. Blend the soap with boiled water. Boil 1 cup 235 milliliters of water, then pour into a blender along with the grated soap. Whip the water and soap until it takes on the consistency of paste. Making soap in your blender may leave a residue that's hard to clean out, so if you'd prefer not to use it, you can make your soap on the stove instead. Simply add the soap flakes to the water once it has started to boil on your stove. Try making soap in the microwave as another alternative. Place a cup of water in a microwave-safe dish, bring it to a boil in the microwave, add the flakes, and let them sit for a few minutes to melt. Place the dish back in the microwave and heat it up in 30-second increments if it needs more heat. Add glycerin to the mixture. Glycerin acts as a moisturizer for the skin, making liquid soap a little gentler on your body than regular bar soap. Mix in 1 teaspoon, 5 grams glycerin, stirring until it is thoroughly combined. Customize it with extra ingredients. Here's where you can get creative with your liquid soap, especially if you started with an unscented bar. Consider adding the following ingredients if you want to make your liquid soap special. Mix in honey or lotion to add moisture. Stir in a few drops of essential oil to scent the soap. Add 10 to 20 drops each of tea tree and lavender essential oils to make your soap naturally antibacterial. Use some natural food coloring to change the color. Avoid using standard chemical-based coloring, since it's not good for your skin to absorb. Create the right consistency. Continue to whip the mixture in the blender once it has thoroughly cooled. Gradually pour water into the mixture as it whips until your soap is an ideal consistency. If you're not using a blender, just stir in the water and whisk it vigorously. Pour the soap into containers. Once it has completely cooled, you can pour it into jars or pump containers using a funnel. If you have a large amount of soap, put whatever doesn't fit in your containers into a large bottle or jug. Keep the remaining soap on hand to use when refilling your smaller bottles.